Okay, hello. Hello, folks. It's me again. It's Lorena. Again, I apologize for what happened with the stream earlier. I did not know that, um, didn't know that I wasn't allowed to do any live streaming or videotaping in the American experience. So I had to cut that short, so I'm so sorry. But to make it up, I'm gonna do another stream for you guys. We're going to check out the creation shop over here at Epcot and see what stuff is going on in there. You're gonna go window shopping with your girl, one of my favorite things that I like to do. And we'll go see what's there, what's new, and what is popping off. So, let's see. First of all, let me tell people on Twitter that I'm, uh, I'm live again. We will find that. Where's my post at? Give you guys some time to come in here into the stream. So appreciate if you guys would tweet out that I am here. Let's see, live. No, not that. <laughs> All right. So I'm live again. Hope you guys are doing well. Send that. Okay, so right now I am outside of the Connections Eatery behind me. Turn around this way. There you can see. Connections Eatery back over there. I actually did something daring. I had Disney pizza, which wasn't actually Disney pizza. It was actually margarita pizza. You know, the flat Italian stuff. Actually, actually worth it and actually good. So I would recommend getting the pizza from the Connections Cafe uh, back over there. So let me see who's in the chat before I start moving on here. Darkwing Duck, hello, my dear, says I actually got a notification from YouTube. Must like you. Yeah, I guess they like me today. <laughs> Good to see you, my dear. And Alan Copeland is in the chat, says, hey, Lorena Creo. Well, hello, hello, hello. Good seeing you. And Chef Nation, hello, says, good afternoon, beautiful people. Well, hello, hello to you, my dear. Say hi to little chef for me. And Steel Leg of History is in the chat. Thank you so much, my dear. Says, how are you doing today? Be blessed. Well, I am doing great. Very blessed. You be blessed too, my dear. And thank you for that $4.99 super chat from my other, uh, my other stream. I truly appreciate that, my dear. Thank you. Thank you so very much. And Stuff Rat 777 Smith is in the chat says miss lorena let's shop and eat hugs <laughs> well i just ate at connections cafe um i got let's see what did i get i got the margarita pizza slices so i got two slices for 10.59 not bad i was pleased actually with what i got it was really fresh i also got the special orange bird liege waffle not disrespectful, but it was still pretty good. So I had that. I'll have to put a picture of that up so you guys can see uh, what my lunch looked like. You probably saw it. If you're on Twitter, you saw it. But I'll have to put it over here um, as well. Let's see. Share Bear. Hey, Lorena, looking beautiful as usual. Well, thank you so much, my dear. Thank you. Thank you. It is stinking hot out here, and your girl has got sunscreen on from head to toe. I have my UV umbrella here, too. Keep it cool, old school style. <laughs> and El Presidente Aguilas is in the chat. So it's good to see you, Lorena, looking cool in them shades. Well, thank you. Love my shades. Got to have them down here. Shades, my fan, and my, my parasol, as my grandma would, <laughs> would call it. So let's see. Yes, margarita pizza, delicious. That was very good. 
I highly recommend it over there at the Connections Cafe. You gotta try it. On the whole, Disney pizza is horrible. But from the Connections Cafe, it's actually really good. So whoever's making the pizza over via Napoli must be making it over here. Definitely worth it. Girl, it's 100 degrees here in Arizona and about 115 in my kitchen at work. Woo! For real? Ugh. I think a show is about to start. I think. If it is, I'm going to roll. Or they finished up. They might have just finished up. Thought we were going to take a detour to a show there in a minute. <laughs> Girl, stay cool. Stay cool in this heat. Stay cool in that Arizona heat, my dear. And Steel Leg of History, thank you for that $4.99 super chat, my dear. I appreciate it. it. Says have to watch on my phone. My niece is playing on my Xbox, and my trips to Universal have been changed. My cousin wants me to go to the FNT meetup next year. Well, plans change, as they often do. No worries. <laughs> No worries, when you're ready to go to Universal, hey, uh, plenty of videos here for you. And let's see, Bonzo Kilborn says Los Angeles is overcast and misty all year. I used to live in LA. Are you guys going through the, Ju the uh, we call it the June gloom? Right now, I did not like the June gloom in, uh, in LA. That was not, uh, not fun. Not fun at all. Okay, so behind me is the creation shop. Uh, not like mouse gear, but enough cool stuff. So we're gonna go around, do some window shopping, drop you guys some uh, touring tips and all that kind of stuff. So let me flip the camera around so you guys can see. 12 of you guys in here watching. Thank you so very much. Please hit that like button. Let people know I am here. And here we go. Into the shop. Hey, Stunning and Brave Megatron says, there's my favorite model. Oh, well, bless you, dear. Thank you. I love that you're I'm your favorite model. <laughs> Right, let's see what we have in here today. Let me go take a look. You know me, I'm looking for bargains, looking for stuff that it's worth checking out. Oh, here's something else. Disney hardly ever puts anything on sale, so this is surprising to me. So a select acrylic tumbler is $15 each. So probably meaning this one right here. So instead of being $24.99, it's now $15. And bling or stainless steel tumbler like these are now $30. Um, honestly, and you know I'm honest with y'all. Even at $30, these are overpriced. Do you know that you can buy a Starbucks tumbler? I won't say Disney on it, but you can buy this tumbler from Starbucks that looks like this for like 19 bucks. Okay, 20. Because look at this over here. These are $49.99. I mean, does that look like $49.99 worth it to you? No. I will say the pink one that I bought with the pass holder discount <laughs> was quite nice. And I've never seen that pink one sold again. So I'm glad I got it um, when I got it. That was worth the money. I use that sucker every day. I use it every day. But I wonder if I can get my pass holder discount on this. Because that would save me probably an extra six bucks. 
but still, I wouldn't, I wouldn't pay twenty. I mean, thirty dollars for it. That's for sure. That's it's nice, but it ain't worth all that. <laughs> Senator Amidala says, "I want to go to Epcot so bad. Is there a date when Figment will be a meet and greet option?" That is a good question. Senator Amidala, I don't think I've heard with any certainty exactly when that meet and greet is going to happen. So I will keep my eye out about that. Oh, look at this. Oh, this is the one that screams. It's like worth 30 bucks. Okay, won't well, do that for me. <laughs> But that's actually that's actually themed very well. Welcome back, you rebel. <laughs> oh, good to see you, Dad man. Good seeing ya. And Melissa Bell, I agree. Oh yeah, with the price of the tumbler. So this is $24.99. It's the tiki room, so I'm willing, I'm willing to pay that. But this has nostalgic factor to me. I love the Tiki, the Enchanted Tiki Room show. So it looks like that one, well, it's well, it says select acrylic tumbler. So it's these over here, but that's overpriced. <laughs> we'll see you soon, Abu Nas. Tell the little one I said hello. I know she's driving you nuts, but you love it. <laughs> Hey, Real Way Nation Gaming Clip says hi. Well, hi and hello. Hello to you. Glad you're all here. We are hanging out here in the creation shop at Epcot, kind of doing a little window shopping. Let you guys see what's over here. That guy looks familiar, right? I have him in my studio. It's an orange bird. Oh, gee. Yeah. Damn Man Walking 55 says, honestly, the best meet and greet was Lorena's at Everglades Donuts, small and intimate where you could talk to people. I'm glad you enjoyed it. It was great. To be, it was a small gathering. We got to uh, talk to folks, meet each other, have great conversations. So hopefully we can do that again sometime. Yes, back for some shopping time, doing some window shopping. This is my little orange bird, which I have in my office, in my studio. The one who has the, uh, the Slytherin hat on. <laughs> I still have to put Slytherin Baby Yoda in my studio too. I have to get his shirt first. I'm out of the loop. What the heck is an orange bird? Okay, so way back in the day when Walt Disney World first opened, uh, they had corporate sponsors. And one of those corporate sponsors was the Florida Citrus Growers Association. And the mascot of the Florida Citrus Growers Association is the orange bird. So that's where the orange bird comes from. I collect everything orange bird. <laughs> Matter of fact, here's where he is right now on this uh, bag that is really not all that thrilling, but there he is. So he's one of the he's one of the uh, corporate sponsors in a way. Yeah, and it was the first time I could not finish a donut, that evil Oreo donut. <laughs> Those donuts and cold brew in Everglades was great. And I think they loved that we had so much business that we brought with us. I just got done creating a video and had a sec before work. Well, glad you're here. Glad you're here. I've got a video for Minions Land that I have to finish working on uh, tonight so you guys can see it tomorrow. Let's see. Uh, obviously, this is a live action Little Mermaid. And uh, no, that is not worth $88. Actually, none of these are, in my opinion, none of them are worth $88.
nothing, there's nothing that sticks out about them. Chef Nation said, I heard minions. <laughs> yes, I'm working on a video. Um, this <laughs> looks like it's going to be this evening for the Minions Cafe. So I'm hoping to have that up for you guys to premiere tomorrow morning. Where I went to the Minions Cafe, I walked by, baked my day. Um, so you guys can see just what it is about. So it's fun. The Minions Cafe is really fun. I think you guys are gonna like that video. LOL, $40. <laughs> Real Wade Nation gaming clips. I am, I can't wait until some of these hit the character warehouse. Character warehouse is like the TJ Maxx of Disney Parks gear. This is $78, which is a little bit better, but eh, I, don't, I don't know. It doesn't really grab me, so to speak. This is cute with the Incredibles on it. I like this one. This is $78 too. Um, nothing really sticks out really though. None of them are really, there's nothing that, you know how things have to have that special something? Um, well, that wasn't it. <laughs> Senator Amidala says, Lorena, do you collect the Disney special edition dolls? I saw the animated Mulan one, and I'm tempted. Um, at one time I did, Senator Amidala. I have four of them actually in my studio. I bought them from the Disney store like years ago. I have seen um, the animated edition ones, which are cute, but uh, that's a gateway drug in a way. <laughs> I try I try not to. It, I haven't bought a, a limited edition doll in a couple of years. And that's on purpose because I went hog wild last time, got like four. But Milan is gorgeous. Do you collect them, Senator Amidala? Let me know. Let me know. That orange bird is darling. Yes, people always ask me about the orange bird, the one that's in my studio. So I tell people where they can uh, get it. And oh, these ears keep calling me. And I keep avoiding them. Because they're beautiful. But I don't know if I want to spend that. <laughs> Chef Nation said, um, Chef Nation said, I'm sorry, none of those backpacks look worth the price they're giving. No, they don't. This is why I need to have a stream where I tell you guys where to get the best lounge fly bags. Because you want the kind of bag that people stop and say, hey, where'd you get that bag from? You know? Okay, this is from... This is from... This is from Mickey and Minnie's Runaway Railway. It's it's okay. I like the bird, but... Nah. I don't like feeling that. I don't like feeling that one. Nah. Let's skip that one. Can you share a little bit about the show earlier um do you mean my live stream earlier this morning so what happened this morning was i was gonna let you guys i was gonna live stream the american adventure show but right before they were about to start the show they said no videotaping and since i didn't want to get kicked out and i thought honestly i could stream the audio um the stream shut down it was probably something on my part because i had to turn the light off on my phone i didn't want to i didn't want to bother anybody um one of my things i'm gonna go over okay i guess we're in the marvel section one of my things about live streaming is i don't like to purposely sabotage anyone's experience you know, I'm local, I live here, so I'm really not trying to sabotage, really not trying to really break a whole lot of rules or sabotage someone's experience. So the theater's supposed to be dark. My phone would have lit the whole place up. So the stream got ended. So afterwards I said, hey, I apologize. So that's basically what happens. But 
since that got cut short, you guys are getting a bonus stream today. Yeah. So let me see. Did I lose somebody? Melissa Bell says, have you ever gone to the Disney character warehouse? Curious if it is any good. Yes, I have been to both of them. I've been to both. I actually need to do a video in the future about the character warehouse. It's one of my favorite places to go, but you have to have a strategy when, uh, when you go there. Oh, look, here's the overpriced. Okay. I didn't mean to go off point here, but I am seeing more of these discounted item things. These things used to be $100 a pop, and people were paying $100 a pop for these Guardians of the Galaxy relics. Now, $75 each when you buy two. I mean, I thought about getting the eye of Agamotto, but eh, I'm not about to uh, put out money for one of those. But also look at this here. This used to, now last year, this was going for full price, $40. They weren't discounting any of this. Now they're saying additional discounts apply. So for $20 minus my, I think, 30% pass order discount. I haven't seen discounting like this at Disney. Makes you wonder, don't it? But yes, Melissa Bell, the character warehouse is definitely worth making a trip to go to. There are actually two of them. There's one near Disney on Vineland Road, and there's another one near Universal as well. The one near Disney is honestly the better one. But if the one near Universal is the easiest one for you to get to, it's worth checking out. I make it a point to check those places out, probably once every couple of months, usually when I want new ears. <laughs> Silicon Dave, hello, hello. Hello, Lorena and chat. Happy to be here again, taking a short heat break. Well, Silicon Dave, I am glad that you are here. Enjoy that break from the heat, that smart. You definitely need a break for working out in the heat. Definitely, definitely do that. Ooh, look at this shirt. $60. Uh, it's got BB-8 on it, so, eh, I don't know. I don't know about that. <laughs> Chef Nation says, where's the indie merch? That is an interesting question. I haven't seen any over here. However... The live stream that I'm going to do next Saturday is from Hollywood Studios, and it is going to be Indiana Jones themed. So we're going to see the Indiana Jones stud show. We're also going to look for merch and all of that. So that's probably over there. So we'll be doing that next Saturday. Senator Amidala. Okay, I have some, and yes, it's dangerous to keep collecting. <laughs> The most recent one I have is Merida, and I received it as a gift. Speaking of collector dolls, so they have some that are over here. These are the Creative Soul dolls. These are like niche collector dolls. I love this one of Rapunzel right here. But it's $60, and your girl is waiting for the price to go down on, uh, on some of them. Hey, Dylan C. Great to see you. Great to see you here. Let's see. There's some other dolls over here. I like this. This is basically me and my friends at Disney World. <laughs> Me and my girlfriend's hanging out. So it's so cute because they have the dolls with the different outfits like Beauty and the Beast themed. 
aerial themed, jasmine themed, snow white themed, it's a lot of fun. Senator Amidala says, thank you for that, Lorena. I wish the influencers at Disneyland understood that. Some of them talk the whole ride and are really loud. Yeah, I, I try to blend. I try to blend in. Um, it's very easy to lose sight of the fact that you have people um, who, for them, this is probably their only trip to come here and not something they can recreate. I mean, when you live here, you kind of take it for granted, like, ah, I can come back tomorrow. So I try to be as unobtrusive um, as possible. I want to be an observer. You guys see my streams. Stunning and Brave Megatron says, is the mixtape for sale? <laughs> I think it's available as a keychain. I'm going to walk over and show you. I wonder if they still sell it. Hey, awesome one. Good to see you there. Good to see you. Let's see. S Senior G Luck, hi. Says, hey, well, hello. Hello, welcome to my chat. Welcome to my chat. Yep, awesome one. Still the aerial we know. This is cute. Well, it's the animator's collection. No wonder. Yeah, I'm going to show you guys something real interesting, okay? Hang on one second. All right, so let's see. So here's the figurine sets over here. You notice that, right? Okay, so now you're fine. So I'm going to show you over here where the live action, so they put the live action stuff over here. So this is the live action aerial merchandise that you can get. Interesting how it's marketed. Although I like this shirt, mostly because the color in the background are pretty much like that. I might get that animated animator's aerial set for my niece. She loves the animated aerial. Her parents took her to see the live action aerial movie and she couldn't sit still. They left. That, yeah, that's one of my other gripes about the live action. It's like it was way too long. If you expect little kids to sit through it, that wasn't going to work. Not going to work. Let's see. Now, I will tell you, this lounge fly bag, I really did like. And this is actually worth it to me. This is from Encanto. And it has Luisa riding the donkey corn. Being strong is fabulous. So this barbell design here. All here for the, with the uh, flowers, they're stitched. So they're stitched on. Let me turn around this way. So more with Louisa and the donkey. It's $88. But I will say it's unlike, it's a unique lounge fly bag. I would actually put out money for this. They have the little barbell touches there very beautiful so if you like louisa this is your bag oh this is all stitched here check it out look at the barbells on here beautiful beautiful hey keely chow how you doing good to see you in roll tide Steel Leg of History says my niece would love that. Yes, this bag is beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, Teresa. Miss Martin Muses, I see you there in the chat. I see you. Good seeing you, Teresa. Midnight's Edge in the Morning Raid. Well, thank you, all of you raiding my chat from Midnight's Edge in the Morning. Oh, let's go look at some more dolls. Let's look at some more dolls. Let's see, here's Frozen Anna. Let's see. Over there. 
Let's see, we're gonna step away from the tantrum right now. <laughs> Culture needs that bag. His hair is strong. <laughs> oh, look, guys. Here's the elemental stuff. Uh, yeah, I'm not really hype on elemental, but I am going to go see it on $5 night. I think the last Pixar movie I saw in the theater was Coco, and that Pixar movie was amazing. Elemental would be the first one that I've seen since the pandemic popped off in the theater. So from the reviews I've heard, it's not all that great, which is why I'm going to a $5 night. And I will be able to tell just what I think about it. Is this an extension of Juneteenth? Um, in a way, yes. But the other stream, uh, unfortunately, got cut short. So I figured I'd take you guys over here into the creation shop to take a look around at some of the merchandise. Is that the Young Jedi Adventure shirt? Yeah, okay. So they're already already publicizing that my nephew has an anti-social club hoodie I want that <laughs> I heard elemental was just average yeah see that's why I'm going on five dollar night I mean if you pay five dollars to go to the movie I mean still a good time you didn't pay a whole lot for it Good to see you, Jerry. Let's see. Second Rodeo says, oh man, I'm on my way to that shop in about 30 minutes. They'll be gone probably. Right, so well, Second Rodeo, good to see you in my chat. Yeah, I probably will be gone by then. I'm usually not over in the parks uh, this late, so this is kind of like a uh, bonus. Good to see you. Let me know if you have any uh, any questions that I can answer before you get here. Silicon Day, Keely Chow, go Tigers. SEC greater than the rest. SEC is all that. <laughs> hey, Ram Bam 3000. It says, hey, Lorena. Well, hello. Hello to you. Let's see. 21 of you guys in here. I am going to look at all the stuff I have no business looking at. <gasps> look at this. Look at this. Oh, this is pretty. It's lenticular. This is tempting. Especially if you love Cinderella. So it looks like this is the 100th anniversary version. It's $88 lounge fly. This way. It's um it's cute. I won't say that it's not that it's not cute. Um it's just not a pry $88 from me cute. I see you ran band 3000. <laughs> Cinderella. Oh, there is actually one on Loungefly's website that is way cuter than uh, than this one, and it has the mice too. Yeah, I like to tell people to get their Loungefly bag before they come to the park, honestly, because you get something that doesn't look like it came off the rack, you know, so to speak. Now, I do love this one. I'll show you guys. So here's the Pinocchio one. I love this. Why? Look, it's got the donkey ears. Remember? Pinocchio is turning into a bad boy. The boys were turning into jackasses. Yeah, so they have the jackass ears. Yes. 
I see a Pinocchio bag. Yeah, absolutely. I love this one. It's the little, it's the little touches that they put up, that they put on here. And Senator Amidala says, geez, Loungefly keeps raising their prices. Yes, they do. Yes, they do. But there's a way to get these bags for a discount. And online is the best way to buy them. I will have to have a Loungefly live stream. So I can let you guys know um, how I shop for lounge fly bags. Let's see. I think those are all the ones. The other way. They don't really have a whole lot of lounge fly bags over here. Oh, wait a minute. I see another one. I see another one. Hey, Cavitano. Good to see you. This is Lorena Creole. Craven the Hunter Red Brand trailer has plenty of blood. I will have to check it out. I'm interested in the Craven, uh, the Craven uh, movie. Now they turn to creep. <laughs> Dave Cable says, "I'm glad you beat that big tech censorship to make it back online." <laughs> uh, well, I'm glad I'm back here too. Oh, look at this one. Is this 101 Dalmatians lounge fly. This looks new. Um, nice detail hiding one of the Dalmatians under there. Let's see. There's another one under there. That's cute. But again, for $88, there isn't a detail that's sticking out that makes a difference. Like the Pinocchio bag, it had the donkey ears, so that was different. This is kind of, yeah, you know, yeah. I would pass by it. I saw some plushy cords. <laughs> well, let me show you some plushies that I do want. I just haven't bought them yet. Hey, Boosh McFadden, how you doing? How you doing? Yes, $88 for that. I would pass. <laughs> totally passed but i tell you what i do want i want all these pegasuses right here you get five of them for 64.99 i love fantasia so this is before a discount so here they come in a little bag it's so cute i would get these they're cute but I love Fantasia, so I would have to have these little guys. They're so cute. So there's them. Let's see. They've got the three little pigs as well. I liked Fantasia more than I liked um, the three little pigs. Let's see. What's over here? These are $39.99. Um, I'm not really impressed. They're from the Jungle Book. No, Ram Bam, it's not my little pony. <laughs> it's not little pony. It's from it's from Fantasia. Jeremy knows is right. They have the little Pegasuses from uh, Fantasia. So that's where they're from. And yeah, all of them for $65 is not a bad deal. I just haven't purchased them yet, but they are definitely on my list. So I'll show you guys again. Here they are, right here. Right there, and you get all of them for $65. Of little Pegasuses. Look at all that fresh bacon. <laughs> Too funny. Too funny. But yeah, so this is the Jungle Book ears. I'm not too impressed. There's Shere Khan on the back, Ka on the back, and then on the front you have King Louie and you have Baloo. 
to mark 100 years. It's it's not my style of ears, but it also doesn't make me want to buy one. And yes, doesn't he? Check it out. So there's Shere Khan. Not impressed. Not impressed at all. Not impressed at all. Dave Cable says, maybe I should look into some of those lounge fly backpacks for my little eBay store. They're probably cheaper than that outside the park, though. Yes, they are. They are indeed. I buy a lot of my, I want to say probably 75% of my lounge fly bags I bought online at a discount. There was one bag that I did buy full price because I couldn't get it anywhere and that would be my Tinkerbell bag that I have. Really? That's all the lounge white bags they had out today? Yeah, okay. Alright. Alright. Also, if you go to the character warehouse, you are limited to one lounge fly bag purchase per person. So don't think you'll go there and you'll be able to scoop up all the lounge fly bags. It's going to work. Hello, Anani Moose. Said popped in to say, has not seen you for a while. Hope you are well. Well, I am doing great. Enjoying my day off for Juneteenth out here in Epcot. Strolling, having a good time. Let's see. Jovial Evil, hello. Do they still have stitch replica ears? Um, Jovial, I haven't seen them. So they may have been limited edition. I haven't seen Stitch ears um, in a long time. I love Stitch, so I'm definitely on the lookout for stuff like that. But unfortunately, I haven't seen any. Huh? Loved watching Tailspin after getting home from school. <laughs> oh, yeah. Tailspin, Chippendale Rescue Rangers. DuckTales, the really great stuff from, uh, from Disney. Oh, this is a nice Dooney bag. This is nice. I'm not a Dooney person. I just look. I would rather get a lounge fly. De-stress shopping walk. That's exactly what this is. This is cute, but here's my thing about Dooney. Once they started going into the all the Disney bags, it's just kind of lost its appeal. So that's why I like Lounge Fly. Because these are like, this is $238. They've got a Finding Dory one. <laughs> They have this one here, satchel bag, which is $318 for Dooney and Bork. Nah, I'm, I'm so not feeling that. $88 compared to a uh, lounge fly bag, all of a sudden doesn't sound so bad, does it? <laughs> I'm not, um, I am not a Dooney fan. Mm -hmm. But I like watching people go pick through the Dooney bags. Let's see. Here's some more over here. Here's a Snow White one, which is cute. And it is, let's see, it is... $228. Yowch. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, Boosh McFadden. They are buying it. They are buying it. And it's oh, and it's thirty percent off. Okay, now that I've never seen here before. So they must have a lot of inventory they're trying to get rid of. I've been seeing a lot of discounts at the park. For those of you who have been watching me, you know I'm a bargain shopper. I like to look for deals. But Disney has been rolling out just an obscene amount of uh, discounts. Ooh, plushies! Munchling plushies. They're so cute. Very pricey. Very pricey. It would be scary to see the price of a bag if Louis Vuitton, Loungefly, and Disney collaborated. Oh, that'd be real expensive. Super expensive. But with Loungefly, I have a couple of sites that I stalk for discounts. Because you can get a lounge by purse at Disney, which is which is fine. But I'm the person that likes to be unique. And I want to say that happened when I was at Epcot maybe two years ago. And I saw this girl who had this like iridescent lounge fly bag with the Mickey ears. It was like blingy, shiny, all of that. And I asked her, I said, where did you get it in the park? She said, I didn't. I'm like, oh, okay. She told me where she got it. I looked online. It was a special edition and I bought it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Wrong button. I think I bought it. I paid like $80 for it. It's very unique. But now that bag goes for like 125 bucks. Oh, look at this. The magnetic frame from up. Oh. $14.99. That's actually cute. Look at that. <laughs> the Flash movie will be hitting the bargain bin. <laughs> I refuse to see that movie. I don't. I'm not checking it out. I don't think Loungefly is my style. It isn't for a lot of people. For me, I love the pop culture, the pop culture thing with uh, with Loungefly. But some people don't really don't really like that. If I had three hundred dollars to spend, I would be buying some koi and more rocks. Yeah, it's all relative. Like what's important to you, and what isn't. For me, if I'm buying a Dooney bag, I don't want it as a walking advertisement for Disney. That's my thing. I want a classic bag. Are they an adorable couple? Mm -hmm. That is cute. Yeah, that was pretty cute over there, huh? <laughs> there is no way to separate the art from the artist with people like Ezra. Yeah. I mean, like, case in point, I can't stand Mark Ruffalo, but I'll overlook him in the Marvel movies. Ezra Miller, no. No, bump Ezra Miller. I still want this Death Star mug. It's 25 bucks. I get a 30% discount. I like that. That'll have to go with my R2-D2 mug. I like my R2-D2 mug. Let's see, we got a Star Wars stainless steel tumbler with the Kenner figures on it. It's $30, y'all. I passed by this for $30. That is not worth $30. $19.99 probably, but not $30. I could spend $30 on that mug. Yeah, it's it's distinctive. If you're like me, you use your mugs like literally every day. My R2-D2 mug, I must drink out of that sucker like every day. <laughs> I 
I love it. I just haven't picked it up yet, but I do like that dark, this uh, Death Star mug. So just to recap, this is $24.99, 25 bucks. Death Star mug, black on the inside. Probably holds about 16 ounces. Not bad for the price. Imagine being on a Zoom call and you're drinking coffee and people see your Death Star mug. I've had people see my R2-D2 mug and they're like, that is so cool, where'd you buy it? <laughs> Let's see, I think, have we seen everything in here? Dave Cable says that's no moon. <laughs> we got about uh, we got about ten more. We got about ten more minutes because I actually have to get on a stream tonight at six p.m. Eastern on Ladies of the PGS over on the Burnett Network. So I got another show to another show to get on. Ooh, are these clothes you can get? I did not need to look at this. Well, I can't stand Olaf, but I love this here. We got like shoes, hair scrunchie, eye match, eye mask, robe. This is $16.99, so it goes with the dolls. So they have that one. They have a Moana outfit. That's a bit small for you, Lorena. <laughs> yes, it is. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Hello, Tyler Silva. Just hi, guys. Happy Monday. Well, hello and happy Monday to you as well. So glad you're here. So glad you're here. Yep, yesterday was Father's Day. Today is Juneteenth. Absolutely. Absolutely. Oh, if you are an annual pass holder and you haven't gotten your figment magnet, you can actually still go and pick some up. I just got mine um, today. I put a picture of it on Twitter. So I now have my figment pass holder magnet. Glad I finally got that. Ooh, this is cute. What's this? Is this really? This is $30. You know, I got something like this last year. It was $25, but I got three toppers that came with it. So it's a much better value. So, eh, skip that. <laughs> Not too keen on that. And here is the orange bird gear. So they have the ears, which are really cute. I just haven't bought them yet. Cute. I like those. $34.99. And let's see, they have the mug. This is pretty. $19.99. The orange tree that looks like Epcot. So I like that there. See, Boosh McFadden says, what gift shop is this, Lorena? This is the, um, oh my gosh, connection shop. No, sorry, creation shop. The major gift shop here used to be mouse gear, but it's overhauled. So now it is the creation shop. So it's located right across from the Connections Cafe, a.k.a. Starbucks. That's where it is. This is one of the best plushies I ever bought. <laughs> Silicon Dave says, Thank, back to being productive. Thanks for having me. Make a great day, everyone. I'm so glad you were here, Silicon Dave. You have a wonderful rest of your day. Okay, it looks like I still haven't gotten this. The pass holder corksicle. $44.99. I'm just not a corksicle person. 
so I kind of skipped that. I don't really use stuff like this. I usually like the tumblers. So I'm gonna go over to where some more uh, coffee mugs are. Let you guys see those. Ooh, is this Daisy Duck? It is! See, I usually get stuff like this. I'm always drinking water, I'm always drinking something. So it's easy to get your money's worth out of these uh, tumblers here. And that's a Daisy Duck tumbler. I should own that. I really should. <laughs> yep, plushy orange bird. There he is. There he is. Okay, so let's go over to where some more of the mugs are. Near the front of the shop. Also, folks, I highly recommend that you do mobile checkout when you're here at the Creation Shop. You do mobile checkout. You don't have to stand in that long line. You can just purchase your stuff through the app, the Disney Experience app, pay for it, scan it, pay for it, go to the checkout counter. They double check to make sure that you have everything that you paid for. They give you a bag and boom, you're out. I love it. Daisy is so lovable. Daisy is my girl. <laughs> I love Daisy Duck. Ooh, Darth Vader voice changing mask. Now I'd get into trouble with this because I'd use it. It is, how much is this? This 50? Oh, $34.99. That's got to be fun. <laughs> I would get that. I have no idea what that blue thing is. No idea. Zero idea. Not real interested. I see they still have Wakanda Forever stuff around. Oh, okay. Here's Across the Spider-Verse. Is this really a pregnant action figure? You gotta be kidding me. Uh, yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> that mask would be great for Zoom calls. <laughs> I'd wear it. <laughs> and be off camera. <laughs> Get the mask and use it to freak out Fatal J. Oh, that would be the best prank, wouldn't it? <laughs> would freak him out <laughs> Fatal J is hard at work on Ninja Blast too so if you haven't signed up for the mailing list you need to do that because I missed out on Ninja Blast 1 but I'm not going to miss out on Ninja Blast 2 for real Let's see, where's the, I guess they moved the coffee mugs. Okay. I thought they had some more coffee mugs, but apparently not. Okay, tell you what, let's go get some free soda. <laughs> You're probably like free Disney, what? Okay, well not, not a hundred percent free because you paid to get in. Well, let's just say complimentary, complimentary soda. So where is that, you may ask? Well, you go outside the creation shop. And we are going to go over here to Club Cool. Grammar 3000 says the idea that any pregnant woman in her right mind would go out and put herself and her baby in harm's way is ludicrous. Yes, it is. You have to go back and watch the video that and I did for toxic male appreciation and we said pretty much the same thing. Dave Cable said free at Disney, I almost fainted. <laughs> well, it is complimentary. Your girl loves trying to get as much stuff as I can get. Complimentary. And so this is Club Cool that's sponsored by Coca-Cola. 
They had a refurb recently. And it's not free, it's simply free to the end user. Yeah, That's why I say compl complimentary, because you already paid to get into the park. But it's one extra thing, wow, that you don't really, that, let's put it this way, that you've already paid for. <laughs> I love being in here. And the lip smackers. They've got really nice sweat. Wait a minute. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, I have never seen this before. 40% off select Coca-Cola spirit jersey items. They are doing just like the fire sales in here lately. 40% off. These spirit jerseys are usually like 80 bucks, 80, 90 bucks, 40% off of them. That is not something Disney usually does. T-shirts, $25 when you buy two. Wow. Hey, Max, how you doing? Ooh, they got Fanta T-shirts. I love Fanta soda. I love that. Yeah, I'm being facetious, Rampant 3000. Nothing is free. Somebody paid for it somewhere down the line. But considering how much you pay to get in, the fact that this is something that you don't have to put out additional money for, it's still a nice part. But there's a lot of people in here, so I'm not going to go and jump in line. But as you can see, this place is extremely popular. It always has been since I was a kid. So you can go buy floats and stuff over there. Or you can go to these dispensers over here and try the different flavors of Coke. Well, let's say a curated selection from around the world. So my favorite is the Bon Bon Anglais, one from Madagascar, and the Merengue one from the Dominican Republic. Those two are my favorites. So delicious. Woo. Love them. Have to see Mexican Iron Man wearing one of those Fanta shirts. <laughs> Premium and pay what you want are better than that. Looks like Disney is trying to dump stock really quickly. 40% off. It's almost like Disney might be in financial trouble. Well, Bush McFadden, they are definitely in the fire sale phase. I, have, I haven't seen stuff discounted like this before at Disney. I mean, I've always seen the gift with purchase thing. Like, hey, you pay so-and-so, you get this for like 15 bucks. But how many discount signs have we seen just in the creations uh shop yeah it's a lot that's on sale i've never seen i've never seen this much stuff <laughs> it's all good ram bam 3000 it's all good <laughs> no worries it's all good let's go on over here and kind of end where we began. Okay, there we go. There you go. There you go. There we go. There we go. <laughs> uh, so thank you guys so much for joining me out here today. Hadn't expected to be at the parks uh, this late today. I'm usually not because it's hot as on and wet, but felt bad about the other stream ending so I just wanted to do another stream for you guys from the parks so we can just kind of connect and check it out and see what's going on the other thing that I wanted to emphasize is how much merchandise is being discounted by the mouse because last year all of those relics Gardens of the Galaxy relics, they were $100 a pop and people were buying them like this. Now they're on discount. 
Dooney bags at a 30% discount. Never seen that before. Ever. Bogos on t-shirts. Never seen that before. At all. Hey, Jonas, says, is that the talking trash can at the Connections Cafe right over there? Um, did I pass it? I might have passed it. You mean push the trash can? I might have passed it. Good seeing you, Jonas. Good seeing you. Are you prepping for gumbo? Yeah, we gonna fight. I don't put okra in my gumbo. I use filet powder. I don't put gumbo. I don't put mm -mm, no okra touches my gumbo. Mm -mm. No, no, no. To each their own. <laughs> and Jerry Minosa says, what's that warehouse called again? It is called the Character Warehouse. For those, you can go and Google it, Character Warehouse uh, Disney. For those who don't know, if there's items that Disney wants to put on at a discount to get out of their parts and sell at a lower price, it gets sent to the character warehouse. So you go to the character warehouse, you can get all kinds of stuff that's in the parts. I've gotten um, ears, Mickey ears for like eight bucks. That used to be like 35, 40, 40 dollars. Everything, t-shirts, lounge fly bags. If it's a good day and you get there, you can get a lounge fly bag for almost 50% off or more. Get that. I didn't drink. Before you go to the parks, if you can go by the character warehouse, it's a nice stop to uh, to make. It's definitely worth uh, definitely worth checking out. That's for sure. So that is the character warehouse. Let's see. Oh, thank you, Jonas. Is Lorena Creole the best theme park live streamer? Pans down. Well, thank you so much, Jonas, for that two dollars super chat. I appreciate that so much, my dear. And thank you so much for the compliment, folks. Please do subscribe to Jonas's channel. Jonas is also the super producer for WW Pro's live show, which I drop in usually at the second uh, second hour. So thank you for being here, my dear, and thank you for that $2 super chat and that compliment. I so do appreciate that, my dear. Uh, let's see. There's somebody who was trying to see. Hey, irate specialist, how you doing? How you doing there? Good seeing ya. Okay, folks, I am going to have to end the stream because I have to hop in my car and get home so I can make uh, Ladies in the PGS at 6 o'clock. Thank you guys so much for being here. Over here at Epcot, if you have any questions, please drop them in the chat about what you've seen in the live stream. I'd appreciate it. If you're watching this on the replay, thank you so much for watching the replay. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe to your girl because you don't want to miss out on hot, fresh content. And folks, have an amazing day. I will see you over on the Burnett Network at 6 p.m. Eastern. Bye, everyone.